Tebow you're is telling Hollywood. me that Tim Tebow Tim deserves Tebow's to be a mentioned bigger draw than Kobe Bryant is right Kobe now. Bryant? He's a bigger draw than Kobe Bryant. He's a bigger draw than Kobe Bryant. He's a bigger draw. Yeah. Go to break. Welcome back to NBA Wild TV. And we're going to look at some of the worst predictions of all time. One of the most exciting parts of watching an NBA game is the insightful, exciting, and sometimes hilarious commentary that we hear. He just looked at the crowd and said, wow. Like, he is in awe of himself at this point. Don't reach, because he's going to preach. We've come to expect on-point analysis from experienced commentators, some of which are past players and others who've been around the game for a long time so they all should know what they're talking about, right? Well, sometimes these experienced commentators and analysts make some confident predictions, but they are way off target. And you really gotta scratch your head on how wrong these predictions were. We'll look at some of the analysts that has made some of the worst predictions we've ever heard in NBA history. Colin Cowherd. Yeah, I know we wanna be entertained after a hard day's work, and it's one of the reasons we tune in to watch NBA games. And we also expect to be entertained by the analysts who are giving their own takes on the game. If your thing is purely entertainment, then the guy you should listen to all day, every day, is Colin Cowherd. Just hearing this dude speak will have you rolling on the floor. And what's even more amazing is how convincing he is with his sometimes outlandish analysis and predictions. One of Cowherd's most epic predictions that's pretty high up on the list for the worst ever is when he called Kevin Durant just another wing guy in 2007. The big guy has a much better body and is faster and quicker and more agile than the wing guy? Then he went on to call out other analysts who thought Durant should be the number one draft pick. Coward thought Greg Oden was by far a better player than Durant and the clear number one pick. And wait until you get a load of the freak of nature called Greg Oden. For, for starters, his numbers blow Kevin Durant of Texas completely out of the water. Greg Oden is faster than Durant in the three-quarter court sprint. He is quicker than Durant in the lane agility drill and has better numbers in the running and standing vertical jumps. In the standing vertical jump, a seven-foot center. Got a better vertical than Kevin Durant. This dude clearly missed the all-star potential that Kevin Durant possessed and what he showed as a freshman at Texas. Everyone except Cowherd knew that Durant was destined to be an NBA great. That wing guy ended up being the rookie of the year in 2008, and we all know what he has done in the league since then. Greg Oden, on the other hand, is a fleeting memory and hasn't been a threat in the NBA ever. I wonder how Cowherd feels about the 2007 comments about Oden. Well, I think he's quietly kicking himself right now. Colin, the entertainer, was edited again in 2016, and yeah, he was picking on Durant again. Even after Durant had proven to be one of the best players in the league for almost a decade, what can KD do to please this guy? In his distinctive, loud, irritating voice, he boldly predicted that there was a zero chance it happens. And I don't think it's a good move. I think there's zero chance it happens. Less than a week later, Durant signed up with the same Warriors team. Cowherd made matters even worse when he said that, So A, I don't think Curry wants it. B, I don't think it's good for chemistry and Clay Thompson. Well, Cowherd was way off the mark, as usual. The Warriors wound up winning two straight NBA titles in 2017 and 2018. And guess what? KD was finals MVPs on both occasions. Colin, I think you're an amazing entertainer, but I'm a little concerned about how you come up with your predictions. If you're watching this video, send me a DM. I want to know your thought process behind your crazy predictions. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more like this, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for the regular updates on our best NBA videos. Stephen A. Smith. If I had to pick someone to compete in a shouting match, without a doubt my choice would be Stephen A. This guy has a loud voice. He's also been a leading commentator in the NBA for a long time, so we do got to give him some props for that. But over the years, Stephen A's made some bold predictions that have turned out to be way off the mark. He got the prediction wrong for the team that would win the NBA title for six, yes, six straight years from 2011 to 2016. Who's winning? The Bulls or the Bulls? 
the yeah, heat. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. The, not this one. Yeah. The heat or the Dallas Mavericks. Oh. My heart says the Miami Heat because I love the bad guy. The Dallas Mavericks are NBA champions. The first title in franchise history. Yes. I'm rolling I love with it. the Miami Heat this I time. It. I'm picking the Miami Heat. San Antonio is back on top once again. The Spurs are the 2014 NBA champions. I'm going with the Cavs. Whoa, he's going with the Cavs. Team season is now complete. The Golden State Warriors are the 2015 NBA champions. Please bear in mind that Stephen A was choosing from the two teams in the NBA final and not making some wild prediction early in the season. The probability of someone guessing the outcome incorrectly six straight times when they were the only two possible outcomes is about 1.5%. It's borderline insane that such a top-notch sports journalist could pull off such a streak of horrible predictions. But listen, I'll still go with Stephen A in a shouting match. I'm not good at predictions, but I know if it was a shouting match, Stephen A would pull off the victory for me. Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless is not the naturally most entertaining commentator in the NBA, that's for sure. However, he'll get your attention with his outlandish predictions. One of his most epic predictions that even had his close friend Stephen A astonished was when he said in 2015 that Michael Jordan, who was retired for over a decade, could beat LeBron James who was in his prime in a one-on-one -on -one game. He just might be able to. Don't do it, don't do it. He just might be able to. Okay. Now, I'm going to explain why he might be able to in just a moment. <laughs> but it showed that Skip Bayless just talks to be controversial. What makes it more alarming is that Skip was trying to keep a straight face while he was saying it. Skip was at it again when he confidently stated in 2012 that Tim Tebow was a bigger draw than Kobe. Tell Hollywood. me that Tim Tebow Tim deserves Tebow's to be a bigger draw than the Kobe Bryant is right Kobe now. Kobe Bryant? He's a bigger draw than Kobe Bryant. He's a Bryant. bigger Yeah. Go to break. Guess what? Kobe Bryant made five all-star teams after this crazy prediction, while my man Tim Tebow played his last full season of football back in 2012. I'll boldly predict right here and now that if 10 people were asked who they would pay to watch between Kobe and Tim Tebow, nine of them would say Kobe Bryant. I know Skip and his buddy Stephen A would probably say otherwise, but don't we know they both have a horrible prediction record? Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce is an NBA champion, 10-time NBA All-Star, and Finals MVP. Pierce has a thorough understanding of the game of basketball. When he became an analyst, I was kind of eager to hear his takes on games and his predictions because he's got the knowledge of the game of basketball and I kind of wanted to hear it. However, I was shocked when I heard some of the stuff that was coming out of his mouth. Paul Pierce predicted that the Bucks had no chance against the Celtics in the 2019 Eastern Conference semifinals after they lost only one game. Slow your roll, Paul. But as a team, I don't, I don't, I don't know where Milwaukee goes from here. Because what are you? I, whoa, 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 whoa! So is this over? I think it's over. This series is over. Yeah, they one lost game. You just sat there and said that they could win an NBA championship. Yeah, I did say that. Predictions ain't easy, but to make such a bold prediction about the top team in the East that had the regular season MVP on their roster was a bit premature. The Bucks showed that Pierce was flat out wrong by winning four games on their way to eliminate the Celtics. I'm not even gonna be too hard on Paul Pierce. I get it, he's a Celtics guy and he wanted his team to win. I would just urge my man to be a bit more objective in the future and leave the emotions out of his predictions. Charles Barkley, my man Chuck. Without a doubt, Barkley is one of the best players that ever played the game of basketball. He played in the league for 16 seasons and was an 11 time All-Star. We have a lot of love and respect for Charles. In his current role as a basketball analyst, he gives some insightful takes and he's one of my favorite guys to listen to. However, he's made the list a couple of times for the worst predictions. In 2018, Barkley boldly predicted that the LA Clippers were guaranteed to be in the Western Conference Finals. What did you say? Well, the, sec the second game, our second night. Okay. <laughs> the LA Clippers are going to the Western Conference Finals. Guaranteed. Stop it. Stop it. Where did they end up? 10th in the conference and didn't even make the playoffs. This is one of the most incorrect predictions that we've heard from a man, Charles Barkley. And it was amazing how way off he was with this one. 
Barkley also allowed his personal opinion about jump shooting teams not having the capacity to win NBA titles to kind of skew his reasoning, resulting in him overlooking the Warriors team's obvious talent back in 2015. I do think the Clippers are going to be tough. Listen, everybody think I hate the Golden State Warriors, which is can't cool. like them. I, I, no, I think they what. First of all, I think they've been great this year for the NBA. If they win the championship, I will get on my knees and congratulate the Golden State Warriors. But I do not believe they're going to beat these teams. That's Jack. just my opinion. That same jump shooting team went on to five straight NBA Finals, winning three titles. Barkley again was way off with his prediction. We hope that he's learned his lesson about making predictions based on merit and facts and not using just a team's playing style to predict how well they're going to do. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for the regular updates on our best NBA videos.